Well, hello again. Welcome back to the channel. This is my latest purchase. Philco Predicta Pedestal. Some folks call it the barber pole. 21 inch. Fell had this for sale. And he only lived about 25 minutes from my house. So I went and looked at it. And ended up buying it. So when I got it home here, I pulled the back off and I had been some work done on the circuit board. A couple of new tube sockets have been installed. I put it in the isolation transformer and I thought, you know, what the heck, let's turn it on and see what we get. And it does work. It had a picture. Uh, vertical and horizontal, pretty unstable. Picture's pretty dim. Check the picture tube with the checker and it. Emission is pretty low. Go ahead and plug it back up and show you the picture on it before I get started. And then I'm going to pull the front cover off and see how, how bad it is and kind of go from there. Team Milkshakes working on the... Get the rhythm and timing of your hands on that machine that helps so, so many players. Well, not a very good picture, but it does come on. So I'll pull that cover off and we'll see what we have. The gold trim ring looks really good. Uh, like a little just a little cleaning will take care of that and there's a clamp metal clamp that goes around to hold these two halves together and there's a screw you can see it right there Phillips head screw that holds it on so we'll take that off next this strap is in really good shape no rust on it. Well, while the front is not super clear, it's not really that bad either. So I'm afraid the picture tube is pretty weak. I mean, it's, yeah, it's crusty, but there's spots in it that doesn't look bad, so. I will clean it off, but I doubt if that's going to help a whole lot. Front of the tube is, it's pretty clean. I think it's better than I thought it would be. Right the inside of the front cover here was just some Windex to take these decorative arms off right here. Just pull this brass cap out of that. And it's a number 10 X light, which is 5 16 if I'm not mistaken. And once you get it off, you turn it and it pulls right out because it has tabs on the end there that go in and then you lift it up and that locks it. And the final two screws that hold on the back cover right under here. The Phillips right there and one right there. Okay, got the back cover off and it's just dirty inside and outside. Lay that over there. Sylvania. 21 FDP4. Sure number starts with a 9, so probably 59 or 69. This is the emission test, and I don't know if you can see that, but moving just a little. 
Well, this is after a rejuvenation. Certainly a watchable picture now. Whether it holds, that's the question. But much better than it was. I want to show you the rigs after a rejuvenation. Use this first, first rejuvenation position. Got our filaments on 6.3. No, no cathode shorts, no G1 shorts. And the cutoff is setting now. Before it didn't. Stand right in that cutoff box. And there's our emission. Life test. Let's see what happens here. Uh oh. Okay, it's kind of stopped right there. Still better than it was. First thing I'm going to try on the, the front protective screen is car wax. I put it on the front. I'm going to let it dry a little before I buff it off. see if that made any difference and then I'll try it on the inside if I see some improvement all right here we go there's what it looks like before all right both sides polished just by hand use that polishing rag right there Still some scratches in it, but as far as looking through it, it looks pretty clear. Of course, it's tinted, but. And it was a part of the television when people and families stayed home to watch all of this. I know, I've been spreading the word. So just ignore, ignore the rolling. That's what it looks like without the screen. That's with the screen. So much pain and so much suffering. It does darken it quite a bit. On it's horrendous. Those scars. As far as changing the focus, I don't think it did. I think it looks about as good as it did before. Uh, man, it'd be nice if I could get it, keep it from rolling, but I can't. It's about as good as it gets to I restore the chassis so what I'm going to do today is pull the chassis out we'll get it over on the bench and do some cleaning on it pull the tubes out check them and see what else we can get into today not too big of a deal to get this chassis out there's a couple of screws here in the back that on this edge that hold it and then there's a couple over here on the side right there tuner unplug so we can leave it in for now just need to unhook this ground strap and here's a here's a tuner plug uh, unplug the speaker also take this interlock right here out and if on off switch contrast and the controls are mounted here on this plate so we'll take that whole plate out that should get everything loose where we can put the chassis over on the bench and there's also a couple of screws in the bottom of the chassis right here and right over there They look like that. Get the other one out and it should be ready to come out then. All right, chassis out. And I can work on it until I get to the point of final picture adjustments. Then I will have to hook it back up to the tube 
or set the tube over by the bench, either way. <clears throat> I won't take the tuner out until I get the chassis restored and ready to test the picture on it. did have to pull the antenna terminal off because of the local distance switch. Otherwise, the uh, input's just plugged in. So in looking this circuit board over, you can see it has had some work done to it. There's a couple of new sockets right here, right there. They're white. Pretty obvious that they're new. I may change them. You can see where the grounds have been taken loose. Right here. Right here. There. So it's definitely been worked on before. But it but the set works. As I showed you when I did the first evaluation, turned it on and it does work. So some caps have been changed. You can see here. We'll put some new parts on that board. Change the cup plates. I have all all of those ready to go in, brand new ones. Get that back together, and that should take care of that. Uh, this has obviously been changed. They used a metal can instead of a paper, and wrapped black tape around it to insulate it from ground. So we'll change that, and I'll check the tubes. I think they're all good because the set did produce a picture, but we'll still check them. Transformer looks pretty good. Does need some fresh silicone around that lead that goes to the rectifier tube. But a little bit of wax came out there, you can see on the side, but Transformer works fine, so that's not a problem at all. Well, all the tubes tested good, as I suspected they would set working. I didn't think we had any problems there. Didn't check the tuner tubes, but uh, use all the chassis tubes. I did clean them up after I checked each one. Put them in a baggie to hang on to for when I get ready to repopulate the chassis and finish it up. So now I'm going to do just a little bit of cleaning. Take this IF shield off, clean under it. And don't believe the IF board has ever been out of this set. You can tell by the grounds they look factory. Another thing I'll do as I'm cleaning this board, these wires are super sticky. Clean those off. Make them look better plus I won't have to worry about getting that sticky stuff all over my hands as I'm working on the chassis. Just want to show you what a little bit of cleaning on these wires can do. Uh, I cleaned all three of these back to right in here. And you see what the rest of it looks like. Quite a difference. Okay, finished with the IF board. I did find three resistors. They were out of tolerance. These three right here. And I've highlighted them here on the schematic. They both went from pin 2 to ground on the 3BZ6s and then pin 1 to ground on the 5AM8. Uh, the 47 was reading about 70. The 68 was reading 85. And the 220 was reading about 360. So I doubt if it would have made any difference if I'd have left them. They probably the set probably still would have worked okay. But while I was in there, I went ahead and replaced them. Have the shield back on, so that's finished. Oh, and I did. I got a little more cleaning to do here on these controls. But the wires going to the front panel controls, cleaned them off. You can see they look a lot better. Working my way around the chassis it started up here coming this way, but Notice that it still has the little paper insulator And it's all fell apart of course, but 
I just take that out and put a rubber grommet in that hole where the horizontal output cap lead goes. Usually those are completely gone by this time, but that one survived even though it's not much left of it. Clean the lead going to the horizontal output cap. And I put some silicone on the transformer, specifically where this lead going to the rectifier tube comes out of it. Kind of built it up around the perimeter of it where if it gets moved a lot, then it won't break it loose. But other than that, it's pretty clean around the transformer. Did clean some of that wax that it accumulated here on the side. May wipe a little more of that out, but it'll just do it again if you play the set much because the chassis sets upright and that's going to drip down there as the transformer gets hot. Okay, there's a grommet I put on it. Just kind of protect that wire where it comes through. And also put a grommet here where the high voltage lead enters the cage. Probably not necessary, but I feel a little better having a rubber insulator all the way around the high voltage lead. That's about it on the chassis. Pretty clean, wasn't that bad to start with, but I cleaned it a little more. And probably the next step I'll do is to pull the circuit board out, start repairing it, restoring it. So that's that's next. And then we'll get that done and we'll tackle the bottom of the chassis. Well, that'll do it for part one of the Predict a Pedestal Restore. Check back for part two when we start repairs on the chassis. See you next time. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button and we'd love it if you would subscribe to our channel. Thanks.